Stand up, make a beat. Sports Sports Show here joined with the head coach of the Crane Pirates, Coach Kevin Smith. And for today's show, we got a weekly recap to do with the head coach of the Crane Pirates, Coach Kevin Smith. Recapping the games from the past few weeks. Pirates were on the road taking out Reed Spring, and they beat Reed Spring by a score of 67-59 on December 15th. On December 22nd, just three days right before Christmas, the Pirates went over to Jasper County, and they took on Webb City, and they lost Webb City by a score of 81-55. Pirates were the blue and gold tournament this holiday season, and they took on Willow Springs, Republic, and Bolivar. They got a win against Willow Springs by a score of 62 to 53. Then the Pirates lost a close game to Republic by a score of 45 to 44. Then the Pirates took on Bolivar and they lost to Bolivar by a score of 72 to 54. Then the Pirates went down to take on a former SWCL conference opponent, Forsyth, and they beat Forsyth by a score of. 72 to 69. Then the Pirates crossed state lines into Arkansas and they played Berryville, Arkansas, and they beat Berryville, Arkansas by a score of 46 to 42. Then the Pirates were back home mm-hmm. for the in the Crane Invitational Tournament. That's their own tournament that they have there at Crane. And they saw a new Covenant Academy, Clever, and Billings. And they got all three wins. Two new Covenant Academy, Clever, and Billings. They beat New Covenant Academy by a score of 63 to 28. Beat Clever by a score of 62 to 21. Then they beat Billings in the Crane Tournament Championship game by a score of 82 to 37. Then the Pirates welcomed in Sparta at their place and they beat Sparta by a score of 95 to 54. Then the Pirates had a close game against Strafford and they beat Strafford by a score of 56 to 4. Another win against Portland by a score of 76-39. Then the Pirates went down to Southern Stone County and they beat Blue Line by a score of 62-38. Then the Pirates took on Purdy last Friday and they beat Purdy by a score of 60-39. So Coach Smith going into those games, once again, Reed Spring, Webb City, Little Springs, Republic, Bolivar, Forsyth, Erieville, Arkansas, New Covenant Academy, Clever, Billings, Sparta, Portland, and Blue Line, Purdy. What were you looking for in those games with, once again, Reed Spring, Web City, Willow Springs, Republic, Bolivar, Forsyth, Berryville, New Covenant Academy, Clever, Billings, Sparta, Stratford, Portland, Blue Eye, and Purdy? Uh, you know, we always go into all our games, we play good defense, we press the ball, and we work on our press quite a bit, and... We have to try to get a good rotation of guys coming in to play that are fresh and keep pressing. So, uh, you know, we should do what we normally do, and we just want to focus on those things. Just focus on those things. And so going into those games from December 15th with Reed Spring and the games with Web City, Willow Springs, Republic, Bolivar, Forsyth, Berryville, New Covenant Academy, Clever, Billings, Sparta, Stratford, Portland, Blue Eye, and Purdy. What were the uh, what were the positives that you saw from those games? Uh, you know, uh, about our team chemistry and our play, those are the positives. Uh, we want to keep uh, consistently uh, building on that chemistry. It, it really matters. And uh, role development, the development for what everybody's job is on the team. It's what everybody's job is on the team, though. In those games, you guys had three losses with uh, Web City, Republic, and Bolivar right before the new year. So what were the negatives that you saw from the games with Web City, Republic, and Bolivar along with Reed Spring, Willow Springs, Forsyth, Berryville, New Covenant, Clever, Billing, Sparta, Stratford, Portland, Blue Eye, and Purdy? Uh, I think the negatives sometimes are trying to get the good year with the sickness and injuries and kids trying to stay healthy and uh, uh, trying to keep playing games uh, the best we can. Just keep 
playing games the best you guys can now. Talking about this the sickness with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic going on, you guys lost two games due to quarantine. That was against Clever and Galena. Galena, a conference game, so is there any chances that you guys are going to be making up the games with Clever and Galena before the districts kick off? Yeah, we are not making up the Clever and the Galena game. Uh, uh, Galena decided to move on. They just couldn't get us into the schedule. And we couldn't uh, find out a day for a good was Clever, so we have missed out on those two games. Missed out on those two games. Now, going further down the road, you guys will be taking on Billings, Spokane, and Southwest. So you guys have three games left before the district. We don't know who you guys will be playing in districts. So looking at those games down the road, what are the corrections that are going to be making from the games with Billings, Spokane, and Southwest? Those will be tough games. We have Billings, uh, Spokane, and uh, Southwest. Uh, they're all being conference games for us. Uh, hopefully we can get all those in with uh, weather, you know, weather's concerned right now, and also with uh, sickness. So hopefully we'll finish up those three and we'll go right into the district club. Going into district play now. Talking about districts, it's just like the girls' district, where it's going to be spread out just like football as well. So, let's just said that the last two district 11 tournament was going to be hosted at Galena, but it's going to be more spread out where the higher seeds will be hosting districts. So, who do you guys think you'll be playing? As there's no set opponent for February 24th. So, who do you guys think you're going to be playing come uh, districts? I hope they were playing very well at this time. You know, we got to see the first day of the district. Uh, the good teams, and uh, hopefully uh, we finish up the regular season strong and we can uh, go right into the district tournament strong. Hopefully those, those things will work out together. Hopefully those, those, those things will work out together now. Looking at, at players of the week that shine out on the court from the games in the Blue and Gold tournament game before the Blue and Gold tournament in between the Blue and Gold and the Crane tournaments, and then the games that followed the Crane tournament with Sparta, Stratford, Portland, Blue Line, Purdy. Who do you think were the players of the week that shine out on the court for the, this Pirates team? Uh, those were good games. Uh, very well, Stratford, uh, come right out. They were uh, both their state ranked in the state. Very good Arkansas, Stratford, and Missouri. So. We're glad to get those uh, tough runs in, so we're really excited uh, the place we are at right now. We're really excited with the place you guys are at right now. Now, now looking at Class 2, district, class two now you guys don't have to see Greenwood in your district, so do you think that's going to be a little bit more of an easier district now since Greenwood's now moved up to Class 3? Uh, I don't know. I mean, time will tell us. You can't really know that yet until we actually get there. And Going. So now looking at the district seedings, you guys are seated first, and with your district, it looks like it's going to be you guys along with Blue Eye, looks like Galena, Morrisville, Fordland, Billings, and looks like it will be New Covenant from what I know of, so where each of the other teams were seated. Where, do you, where were all those teams seated in the Class 2 District 11 for this year? Yeah, it's going to be a really good district. Uh, a lot of good teams, good competition. Uh, look forward to every uh, round that we can get through, so hopefully we'll make a good run. Hopefully you guys will make a good run. Now, one more question before we let you go. Now you guys are the number two seed in the state of Missouri in Class 2. I believe you're you're trailing Lakeland, who is actually the number one seed in in boys basketball for class two. So, so if you guys were to make it past districts, is it a chance that you guys will see Lakeland before state in Springfield, or is it going to be at the state tournament if you guys make it that far? Oh, I don't even know where that would be at, but I haven't gotten that far ahead. I just kind of focus on our district, so I have no clue when, where, who exactly. Just trying to focus on the district. Just focus on the district. Now, if you're really proud, what would you say to the coaches that you've played, once again, from Reed Spring, Webb City, Willow Springs, Republic, Bolivar, 
Forsyth Berryville, New Covenant Academy, Clever Billings, along with Sparta, Stratford, Portland Blue Eyes, and Purdy. What would be your words to all those coaches that you played? People uh, had a battle test and schedule and trying to get through and some big games on the road. And we can hopefully uh, they'll think in our heads that that might prepare us for a tough district. So uh, we're just looking forward to it. Just looking forward to it. That will end our show for today. We hope you enjoyed our show. We hope you enjoyed us sitting down with the head coach of the Crane Pirates, Coach Kevin Smith. You like to stay connected with the Crane Pirates through their social media. Be sure to like them on Facebook. Also follow them on Twitter. Their Twitter is at Crane Hoops. Once again, it's Crane Hoops on Twitter. Also check out Mission.org for their schedule. As I will mention that the Crane Pirates will be taking on conference rival Billings. That will be on Wednesday, February 10th. That was supposed to be tomorrow, February 9th, but... That was moved up to February 10th due to some inclement weather that is hitting the Ozarks right now. If you are connected with Ozark Sports Work, you are also.